Hi everyone and welcome back to the Lucy Bird channel. I'm Steph. Today we're making a fun and easy DIY felt and pom-pom garland. So these are super fun done up in non-traditional colors. That's my opinion. You can do them in whatever color you want. But for this project, I'm going to show you how I cut felt stars on my Cricut Maker machine. Very easy, very fun to do. I do use the rotary blade, so the Cricut Maker machine is the best machine for this project. If you don't have a Cricut and you wanna make this, no problem. Over on my website, I'm gonna link it below, I have a template to hand trace and cut your stars, or if you wanna have it be even easier than that, I'm gonna link my Etsy shop. I've got kits cut up, ready to go. All you have to do is string everything on. So. For this project today, you're going to need your Cricut Maker, your computer or iPad, whatever you use for Design Space. I use my MacBook Pro. You need a Cricut mat. I am using the Light Grip mat, and I don't know if you can see it, but this has been used many, many times. So felt is gonna make your mat a little bit dirty. No problem, use it, do it. You can easily clean up your mat with a little Dawn dish soap and water afterwards. And then you're going to need some baker's twine, felt sheets in whatever color you want to do this in, and then pom-poms in whatever color you want. So I have a variety of orange, dark pink, more like a raspberry, light pink, black, purple, um, you can see for this one, I did all orange stars, and then I just did a combination of black, raspberry, light pink, orange. For this one that I'm working on here, I went with a little bit of a different color scheme, however you want to do it. So, um, so you need baker's twine. You need a needle with an eye big enough to get the baker's twine through. So. Threading this needle is probably the most difficult part of this project. Um, so if you can conquer that, you've got it covered. But um, I have a set of needles that they're a Lori Holt needle pack. And in there, I think I'm using the upholstery needle, but you could go to any craft store and just find a needle with a bigger eye. So it might be a doll making needle, upholstery. They've got it, I promise. And then, um, so felt sheets and then pom-poms. So you could make your own. There's a lot of fun and unique ways to make pom-poms. Some even use a fork, um, or you can buy pom-poms already made. If you buy the kit in my Etsy store, I've got the pom-poms ready to go. So let's get started. Um, we'll do a quick tutorial on how you would load this up in Cricut Design Space to cut stars on your Cricut Maker machine using the rotary blade. In Cricut Design Space, you can see that a star is actually already a preloaded shape. So whenever you're designing something, don't forget about these shapes over here. Not everything needs to be imported in. The first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to start with a square because I want to just make... Um, for sizing purposes, I want to make a shape the size of my material. So my felt is eight and a half by 11, and I want to just have a background that size so I can, you know, resize my stars accordingly. So to make a square rectangle, you hit this unlock button, resize it. You could drag it, but I just like to go quickly up here, resize this. Uh, you can zoom out and now I know this is the size of my piece of felt that I have and that way I can just make sure I get the most stars on it. I'm going to come over here click star that'll place one and I'm going to now hit duplicate on this and you can see I'm not really maximizing my piece of felt. I can't get three going across but two seems little so I am just going to quickly resize these by using command, I'm going to grab both of them, and now they resize together. I think that looks pretty good. Um, and I'm going to group those, and I'm going to hit duplicate. Get another row in there. I'm going to hit it one more time. Get my third row. 
And really, that's perfect. That's going to fit on there, and I'm really going to get the most of my piece of felt. If you wanted to resize these all together, you would go grab everything again, and then you could, you know, move this in and out and make them all smaller. But it's nice to group them because it keeps them all the same size. Once you have that, go delete that background shape because we don't want the machine to cut that. And there you go. You have your six stars ready to go. Hit make it, select felt as your uh, material. I always change it to a rotary blade. The rotary blade cuts it so well. So I've never tried it with the actual fine point blade. I think the rotary is such a clean cut. And you're ready to go. Okay, so we're ready to cut these. I've got my rotary blade loaded into my machine, so we're just going to start this and load it in. Okay, so I've got my Cricut uh, maker here ready. I've got it equipped with the rotary blade. So. I'm just going to load this project in. I'm just doing some raspberry stars here. And from Cricut Design Space, I am going to hit make it. And then I have already selected felt as one of my favorite um, materials to work with. So if you haven't done that, all you need to do is go in there and select felt. You can just kind of, you know, type it in and it gives you a drop box. So select felt it's going to default to that fine point blade so you do have to edit it to the rotary blade hit go and it's ready we'll hit make it we'll give that a little bit of clearance right there and then i don't know if i mentioned this before but you might need a vice grip and that's just to kind of help pull the needle through if you you know get a little toughness so I've got my needle threaded on, ready to go. We'll wait for those to come out. And I've already got some stars here ready to go too. So to thread this while that's cutting, you're just going to take your star, your needle, and right at about where that point comes in, go in and out. And it's a little tough to pull through there, especially where you have double baker's twine. And then gently pull it on. Then depending what you want your sequence to be, for this one I did a star, four pom-poms, I repeated a star. This one got a little bit of a different pattern going. You will now just start threading your pom-poms. And this is, well that one went through easy. But this is where if you just need to get a little leverage on your string, you can use your vice grip. So start threading these on, easy goes. I'm gonna give myself a little, there we go, move that out a little bit. Like I said, threading this needle on is the most difficult part. You can see how easy this is. So just mix sizes, mix colors, whatever sequence you want. When you get to the end, leave yourself plenty of room to make a loop. So I'm just going to take my needle off, set that aside, and I'm just going to loop it and tie it. And then this just gives you some place where you can hook it to. Like this would, this is light enough. A thumbtack is going to secure this easy enough. You can trim off that little tail. But now I have a loop here. I made a loop on this other end. Super fun. Let's see how this did. I'm gonna unload it. Peel this away. You can see the maker cut the felt really well. No problems at all cutting it. And actually because my mat has lost a little of its grip already, I didn't even have felt stick to this. So. That'll be fine for a few more run throughs with felt before I need to retack it. So easy breezy. Hope you make a lot of fun garlands. Like I said, if you don't have the Cricut maker or you don't want to go through the trouble of cutting your own stars, 
head over to Etsy. I've got some great garland options in there. I've got three feet and four feet options. I know you're gonna have fun. I wanna see how you use these. Are you stringing them on trees, putting them on your mantle? Would love to see what you do. Head over to Instagram, tag me. I'd love to connect with you. I'm Steph, join me back here next week for another fun craft.